What are your overriding memories from that day? I still got this saved on my sky at home. Like, just watch it every now and then, man. It's probably one of the best days of my life. Like, playing at Wembley, every kid's dream first and foremost, but then to score, like, at Wembley, go down in history at Norwich and obviously take us back to the Premier League, like, just makes me smile every time. Sometimes I get goosebumps, especially hearing, like, the fans, like, scream. It's just, like, it's a moment I'll cherish forever. And I remember on the way there, the bus was, like, being rocked and stuff by Middlesbrough fans, and it was, it was crazy, man. And I was just sitting on the bus thinking, I can't wait to send you lot home, like, upset, <laughs> like. And after the game, you got this photo with Thierry Henry. I presume he was one of your <laughs> idols growing up. Crazy. Crazy. One coach even compared me to. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's, uh, he's probably one of the best players to ever play in the Premier League, if not the best. And as the boss is going through Wembley, like the underground thing, like Bradley Johnson's a massive uh, Arsenal fan yeah. as well. So he's gone, oh my God, like that's Thierry Henry. I went, nah, you're lying. <laughs> I just shot off and me and Bradley Johnson have sprinted down the front of the bus, like, Bang in the window, and then we jumped off the bus like some raging fans. Like, <gasps> it's like, <sighs> can we have a picture? Like, yeah. and then he was just like, of course. He said to me, like, nice goal, man. I really enjoyed watching you play today. Um, so to hear those words come out of his mouth, I think I sprinted quicker coming off that bus yeah. than what I did on the pitch. Like, <laughs> as though it was a surreal moment. You can see Gareth's obviously been a man of his word, where. If you're performing well at your club, you will get the chance and it's, it's showing. But Tillon was obviously an unbelievable experience because again, we went into the tournament just thinking, you know what, we want to win it. We want to win. We had a great bunch of players there that, you know, we all got on. We all wanted to win. We all wanted to spend time with each other. So, um, you know, moments like these, pictures just capture little moments which bring back feelings, which are uh, uh, happy ones. This is from your first day at Southampton. Yeah, yeah. Photo with your mum who's put a nice comment there saying wouldn't have changed the thing that we went through. Yeah, it's a difficult journey man, difficult journey. What you know, living in Highgate with my mum, very inner city. My mum being quite young when she had me, since she was my age when she had me, so not having her life figured out and you know, things could have been different. To be able to sort of repay her, not just materialistic things, but making her life a little bit easier and not having her being able to work and focus on things that she actually wants to do and give my sister and my brother a better opportunity in life, you know, it's just, it's something that I can, like, I can take credit for, of course, but at the end of the day, it wouldn't be possible without her, so. And giving something back is yeah. what you like to do as well. Yeah. You did the FIFA surprise, which yeah. we got here for a young Southampton fan yeah. quite recently. We used to, had to wait till Christmas, like, to get a new FIFA, like, that's how it was, like, you know, time, times were hard, <laughs> like I didn't, my family didn't have money, you know, if I wanted something it was like, sorry, like, you know, maybe at Christmas and I know my mum used to, she used to work hard to obviously try and give me what I can, I can get, so I just had an idea where it was like kids are all over the, all over the world or uh, in the country are just exactly like me, as what I was. I know that there's a, a, a good young following here that, that really do idolise the football club and the players we have and I think that we have a responsibility to obviously let them know that you know the, 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 the football aspect is all fine and well but just being a good person, a role model is just, just as well.